Y'all, I decided to do a deep chemical peel, and this is the first time I've ever done this, and my face looks so orange, like a Oompa Loompa. So, oh my gosh, and I gotta go to work like this. So It's already got my mask, like, all yucky. Yuck. All right, so that's gonna be fun. I wanna, like, what, what is going on? There's, like, a bubble. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna update you on the results. I've never done this chemical peel thing, so yee. Um, so far, I just look like an Oompa Loompa, and I have to go to work. People are gonna be like, what'd you do? You got a fake tan that's not um, not going away. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, day one. Okay, so um, we are at the end of day one, and I didn't show you any of the box this morning, but it's the Perfect Derma Chemical Peel RX. I did get this done by a licensed esthetician. <laughs> Let's read the instructions. She gave me a little kit so I would remember. Um, but on day one, I don't... Okay, so you leave it alone for six hours. Do not wash, touch, or rub. Okay, that went out the window because I have touched my face for sure. And I am still looking very orange like an Oompa Loompa. And I got some very shiny spots here, as you can see. And it also looks like stuff is just popping out. I'm not sure what is going on here. Okay, so then day two, I am supposed to do these towelette cleaners and AM and then PM. You don't wash your face, do not put on makeup. So that's something that you can expect. And then on day three is when the peeling process is supposed to start. So I can use the moisturizer and the biggest part is going to be not peeling it. It's supposed to go on for six days. So this is supposed to be for the perfect skin. And so I wanted to get my skin tone cleared away before we start doing some makeup routine. Okay, it is morning and I have taken a shower and I had just washed with water and just kind of use my fingers to slightly scrub off. So I don't feel like I'm so orange, but I do feel like I'm a little bit red um so you can kind of see that also i have like so much stuff popping out that wasn't there prior to the peel so i feel like it is really drawing out some imperfections and then we're about to see in the next day or so the layers of dead skin to come off so the next step it says to use this towelette for um to gently wash the area no it says to vigorously apply the first towelette to the treated areas and let dry thoroughly. The solution should be left on for 30 minutes before applying sunscreen or any makeup, but I don't put on makeup, so I need, ooh. Okay, so I just opened it and it's like yellow. Makes me nervous. So I'm gonna wash it. Oh, that stinks really bad. Ugh, why does it smell like death? Okay. Great. I hope my hope face doesn't smell like this all day long. It's disgusting. Oh, it smells like rat eggs. <coughs> Why? So my face is tight and it feels a little irritated more around the eyes and the um, this area, which is red already and inflamed. Okay. Wash vigorously. I feel like there's yellow stuff going to be on my Try to get by. Oh my God, it smells so bad. She did not warn me. About the stinkiness of this towel. Ugh. God, I want to throw up. That stinks. I'm glad I did this on a Thursday. Um, today is Friday for day two. So I only have to go to work looking like ridiculous. A couple days. And then tomorrow I'm off work. And that's when the peeling process is supposed to start. So I'm glad I'm going to be home for the weekend. So I would recommend getting your, if you decide to do this to do it on a Thursday or Friday. <laughs> if you work a Monday through Friday, nine to five job kind of thing. Plan it out that your third day, you're gonna look like a crazy person. <laughs> that, well, you probably, I don't know. You'll probably look like you have a sunburn and you're just peeling. All right, I feel like I have washed very vigorously. I think I'm now used to the stinky smell. Okay. So I'm one of those people that feels like I have to have a routine every day. So not putting on moisturizer and feeling tightness is probably gonna bug me all day. So 
hopefully that won't be too bad today. Um, then tonight I will be doing a very similar routine. Um, it says 30 to 60 minutes before bedtime, gently wash and dry the treated area and vigorously apply the second towelette again, probably gonna stink again, and you leave the solution on overnight. Um, and then it says day three through six, the peeling begins. Okay, so it's nighttime of day two and I am doing the towelette again. And so far I haven't really noticed anything um, going on as far as like peeling, but I do notice some irritation right here. Um, it's more of like very red um, and tight. Also around two o'clock in the afternoon, I started, my face was itching like really bad. Oh God, I'm not looking forward to this because this thing smelled this morning really bad. It smelled like rotten eggs. And I can smell it already. God, why is it so awful? All right, so I washed my face with a washcloth. Um, just water, no soap, no abrasive stuff. Oh, this is horrid. <laughs> Ooh. All right, so I'm going to wash my face vigorously, and then I leave it on overnight. Um, and it says if I'm having any irritation to go ahead and put the moisturizer on, but I'm not really having intense irritation and since I'm going to sleep it's not going to bother me so I'm going to use the moisturizer that came in the kit tomorrow oh god this is horrid so awful I still look orange on the camera but I don't feel like I look that orange in person if that makes any sense I'm seeing a lot of acne coming out. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to do. I actually decided to watch some Google or some YouTube videos on other people getting chemical peels and I did not know the extreme that this is going to be. So that was an eye-opening experience. I'm gonna take you on my journey. All right, that's it. I am so done with that disgusting smell and then we'll see what happens tomorrow. Far, I am not seeing any peeling yet, but it is so tight right here, and you can like see the line of where it looks like I have a sunburn. And the um, it's because it feels so tight, it feels like my bottom lip doesn't want to touch my top lip, like it's an effort to keep it closed. <laughs> um, that's how tight it is. It also, I also feel some like scaling here and I feel like some scaling patches um, right here in between here. I don't feel anything like, it feels like, like my normal skin up here. So this is the morning of day three and I'm assuming that we'll probably start sealing some peeling. I mean, this feels like it will peel and it feels, it feels like a sunburn. So it feels like that scaly portion of a sunburn when it starts to flake off. So we just got a breakfast and I felt like something popped while eating and all of a sudden my face just started and like I felt like my lips finally released and so that was amazing <laughs> to feel but then it was like oh my gosh I look ridiculous at the restaurant with all my skin just peeling all of a sudden so I thought I would share so I'm home now and I did put some moisturizer on it because it was very annoying um, I also had to cut off the dead skin because it was just kind of like hanging so I I'm one of those that just wants to peel it off and so I had to cut it because I would want to just pull it. This is the hardest thing for people that just have that satisfying urge to peel and pick things and, and that's me. And so this is hard. And so I moisturized it and I feel like it made it more pronounced. It looks so much more visible than on this camera, which is crazy. I don't feel like I have the same reflection in the mirror as I do this camera of how pronounced this looks but it's going, I'm starting to get some peeling around my nose. Um, this is going now, my forehead is starting to feel tight. So I'm expecting the ha that to start happening probably tomorrow because it's not as tight as the mouth. And I'm just like so glad I can, I feel like I can move this part of my mouth, but this is still tight and it still hasn't started peeling through here. And you can like see the wrinkles of how tight it's pulling the skin. So this is happening and it needs to go away. I'm glad it's Saturday, it's happening. I hope it's all gone by Monday. 
skin beard going on here. Oh my gosh. All right, so it is day four of the peeling process and um, it's the morning. I don't see much peeling, but my eyes and my forehead are very tight. Um, I did peel mostly all through here yesterday, but there's always the moisturizer kind of highlights what's happening. This moisturizer is starting to burn. The fresh skin feels like very sensitive. So like it was rubbing on my shirt and it stung a bit. And this stuff so this is all new skin now, right here. Yeah, I feel like my forehead and around my eyes are gonna start peeling either this afternoon or um, maybe tomorrow, which sucks, because tomorrow I go back to work and I won't be able to hide under the mask. So this is all gonna be peeling basically at work, which is what I didn't want, but oh well, it is what it is. You seriously cannot go around looking like this with this freaking skin just hanging off. You're not supposed to peel it. Can you see this? It's gross. It like went around the pimple too. It's kind of gross. So I've been using the manicure scissors to just cut off the skin as I go and progress so I don't just rip it off. Cause that's really what I want to do. It's like very satisfying to just want to pull. So I've been trying to cut it and be good. Like, look at all that gross skin. It's disgusting. Anyway. So that's what I've been trying to do is stay home for the most part. I haven't, I wasn't home yesterday that much, but they're so gross. There's like little fine pore stuff on here. Like you can see like it's pulling out so much, but I got lots of peeling happening. It started going around my eye now and it's only been um, maybe two hours since I last, like that last little segment since I woke up. And so it, it progresses throughout the day very fast. Um, so I'm hoping that it gets even faster and just finishes tonight. Can I wish for that? I mean, I hope. So today is day five morning and I'm still having some peeling happening down here. It feels like it's almost done. I mean, it's like just a little bit left over here. This started peeling all last night and that's about it. I woke up like scratching, so it must've been really itchy this morning. Um, all in all, I feel like my skin feels very soft, very newborn-like, um, but it's also very sensitive. So I'm a little nervous about like putting my toner product and stuff on top of it as it's like brand new. Um, now that we're reaching the end of it for the most part, I don't think that this is worth $200 or 150. I know it's, but some people have it about that price range, about 150, 200 bucks. I think this is more like, I want to say a 50 to $60 value. Um, it's, or maybe even like an add on on top of a facial, but I just don't think it's worth that much money. Um, I mean, it does give you a nice glow. My skin is like super shiny and that's not even, that's like already peeled. So my, I have oily skin to begin with. So my face is always typically kind of shiny, but this is a bit, yeah, it's like, I don't think it's quite worth it. So that's my honest opinion. I mean, the other thing is I know that you need to do this at least six to eight times in the first year and then you can do like a manual upkeep of like once or twice in the second year but i but still it's like what more is it going to do with more sessions i mean how much layers are you taking off and and do you want to go through this process every six weeks for a whole week you're doing it for like a whole week it's a process i mean it's been five days of itchy peeling and weirdness i mean i wouldn't want to do this in the summer Maybe to do some upkeep in the fall, but I, I don't know. 
I'm just I'm pretty skeptical about doing this a lot. Okay, so I'm on day six of the chemical peel. And I thought I was kind of done filming, but I just wanted to share <clears throat> where I'm at um, with this. I'm so glad I brought the moisturizer today um, with me to work because my face feels extremely tight. I've already put moisturizer twice this morning um, before work, just getting ready in a half hour because my face feels, like I said, very tight, um, very dry, but not like... I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like it feels like very soft, but it feels like it's not hydrated. I guess that's the word I'm looking for. So I'm putting more moisturizer in before I go back into work. Um, well, start work. I haven't even started yet. So third, third time for the morning of day six. And I feel like I need a lot of hydration, a lot of moisture. Um, and that's where I'm at day six.